Hello again! Welcome to Vlogmas Week 2! This week wasn't very busy, I'm kind of paused right now at work, just monitoring emails and phone calls, stuff like that. I, you know, have been wrapping up my presents, you know, in between those emails, and I think I have all of the Christmas presents that I need, that I needed to get, I think I have everything ready. So now it's just kind of waiting to, you know, give them to my family. Um, and then um, this Monday I also recorded narration for a video that went live, the Kaveco video. And then I try to make time to talk with my sisters, um, video chat, this is my younger sister. So speaking of her, I also purchased a second chance Chic Sparrow. I also ordered a pin quiver in the buttered rum. The second chance was a pocket plus in the cascade. I think this is called the Silas and it is a beautiful leather. It is really beautiful and I love the the pockets that it came with. Like I love this cascade pockets. If only it was a different color. I would have kept it. However, I decided to give it to my younger sister, which she is loving it. As far as I know, she she is loving it. It is this nice like plush kind of leather. It's it's thick, but it's not as stiff as the Austin. So the leather is actually really nice, and I really like how um, an A6 fits inside it. I do intend to try again and get a, a Pocket Plus in a color that I know I will like. So I'm kind of leaning towards the Fergus, but I may get another Mr. Darcy. My notes requested a earth tone, which technically this is an earth tone, but I was hoping and did mention that I preferred greens or browns. However, this is still a very beautiful, you know, leather cover. I just, it's just not my taste. Here's the size comparison between the Pocket, Pocket Plus, and the A6. So I am very interested in getting a Pocket Plus. I'm just waiting for them to come back out with the leathers that I am interested in. Um, the Silas is part of that Sincerely Yours, I think. And so here you can see it is thick enough for my liking. I'm just not a huge fan of this like red color, but don't get me wrong, it is very beautiful. I loved how it felt, and I wasn't actually impressed with the pin quiver. Um, the even though it's a buttered rum Austin leather, it is too thin, so my pen clips are really beating it up. I am just feeling frumpy in my clothes for like three months. I did like a consecutive like exercise routine. Nothing major, still very, you know, low-key, but I stopped because of work and now I'm slowly trying to get back on the, you know, exercise train and try to lose some weight because I'm just not really feeling comfortable in my body right now. And then my younger sister also gave me my gift early. She purchased these cute little notebooks which I've they've been on my list for a while I've been wanting to try these out and they feather a little bit with fountain pens but not to the point where it bugs me it's actually very doable and then she purchased me these cartridges for with olivine Monteverde's olivine and some mushroom stickers I love mushroom stickers they're just so cute and then she purchased me two fountain pens she purchased me this uh, Faber Castell medium nib which is great it's a smooth writer it feels comfortable in the hand it's very light weight and it's just really nice to, to write with and then she also very sweetly purchased me a Conklin um, Cor Coronet I think that's what they're called which I have actually purchased myself for so there is a review over this pen this is a beautiful pen it's fun to write with and so I did switch out the nib for a flex nib so it's different from my other one which has a medium sized nib she's just so cute and then she purchased me this cute Animal Crossing t-shirt which I love t-shirts and then the next day I believe was my event day oh, technically I had a virtual event that night so here's just breakfast my sister as a pastry chef and then I also wanted to show you this Ikea cart which I know everybody probably has and this cute Ikea toolbox which I mentioned on my stories on Instagram Instagram advertised it to me and I just had to get it because it is super cute um, and so here I am just setting it up putting in pretty much a lot of my like envelopes pen pal stuff ready for letter writing and whatnot
This, of course, isn't the forever setup of it. This is just what I plan to put hold in it for now. It definitely cleaned off a lot of space on my desk because I felt like it was getting a little crowded and I wanted something else that could hold my journals and stationary stuff. And so this is perfect. It has all of my notebooks that I'm currently using along with some other extra ones and room for my to be read pile, which is what the bottom shelf is. And then I can roll it over here to the side out of the way and then pull it over to my desk when I'm needing it. It is so perfect. I'm so happy. And although you can't really tell, really, my desk still looks kind of cluttered, but it did give me a lot more space. I also wanted to share this magic card. My husband is really into magic and occasionally I will play with him. And so my favorite character from magic is Nyssa, which she is an elf. She is just really cool. I love elves and he bought me a new commander card for her and some matching sleeves and a matching deck box. I also received a really cute letter from my mother, so I was writing her a card back. She has this fun idea where we'll do this, she'll send me a recipe and we'll cook it together over Zoom or something, so that way I can learn how to cook all of her yummy Mexican dishes because I don't really know how to cook. I did not film much on Thursday, it was just one of those days. After work, we did go to Target to pick up a few last minute like Christmas presents and I found these little note pads and they're not the best quality like you can't you need a specific type of I think marker to write on it but none of my like Pentel markers or anything worked on it so I had to use a ballpoint pen and even that was a little iffy so I think sharpie is probably the way to go I haven't tested that out yet though I plan to use this for tracking my exercising time as well as my Spanish practice Friday was another one of those days where it's just kind of you know monitoring emails and phone calls etc etc so I wrapped up some I think these were the last of the presents that I had to wrap I pretty much used all of my wrapping paper and ribbon that I had, so I kind of had to make do with what was left. I really like taking gift bags and using ribbon to close them up. It just makes them, I think, just so much cuter. Brannard posted a video today, so I was happy to have something to watch. It was kind of gloomy this morning. It was just a little, you know, dull outside. So it was kind of just, I just wanted to stay in bed, you know, so... I don't know, it was just one of those days. I played a bit of Animal Crossing. I haven't seen my, you know, my island in a while. So I just kind of spent a few moments checking it and saying hello to my islanders. One of them is moving away, so I will be island hopping the next day. I haven't done an updated Animal Crossing like island in a while, so maybe I'll do that. So there are a few new islanders that I haven't shared. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's just nice to, to visit this little island. It's such a fun, adorable game. I have so much fun playing it. It's also really cute that they have like snow on the ground when snowflakes to catch. I love that it changes with the season. I was bad and instead of practicing Spanish, I ended up just reading some manga because I was in the mood to do so. And then, yeah, that's pretty much the end of my day, really. I didn't film too much afterwards. And I woke up this morning pretty early to go to UPS to drop off a package and I went to drum goals. However, I did get a call from my bank earlier this morning just to say, hey, we noticed a suspicious charge and so I have no idea what happened there. So I had to deal with that. But I did purchase some things at drum goals. I also went and picked up my custom wax seal, which is huge. I sent them this illustration of a typewriter, so it had to be really big in order to get details um, to show up, but I'm really happy with how it looks. I'm just so excited. I immediately had to test it out and then journal with it. I don't know how well it'll work on like my four bar tiny little envelopes when I send out pen pal letters, but you know what? That's okay. I don't mind that I have this huge wax seal that I can use in journal entries. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this long video and I will see you in the next one.